Hi, today we are talking about Microsoft Purview Data Policy and the DevOps Policies Experience, which is used to provision access to IT operations personnel. First of all, a brief intro to Microsoft Purview. Microsoft Purview is a unified data governance solution and it relies on creating a data map of your uh, estate ranging from data sources that uh, are on-prem, in the cloud, or uh, SaaS type of applications. Once that map has been created, then you can run different apps on top of that map. One is the data catalog, one is data sharing, data state insights, and data policy. We're going to focus on data policy used to provision access, govern access to the data. This uh, app is now generally available. Let's talk about the challenges of managing access for IT operations personnel. IT operations has to take care of database systems. It needs to monitor database system health and uh, audit security uh, for those type of systems. To do this work, they are generally given high privileges for example, database admin. That has the issue of uh, providing access to the user data, and this is unnecessary. And this creates the insider threat, which means people can take your data hostage, they can tamper with the data, they can cause denials of service, they can read the data, or they can even copy it and leak it outside. Another different challenge is that these uh, processes to provision access are in general unstructured and therefore they're unclear and inconsistent. Uh, this causes significant delays uh, in terms of development tasks and, and audits. Granting access to database systems works in a distributed way. I have to manually go as a DBA and create access for another user. Or group. Because of the manual nature of these processes are error prone and they are not scalable. These distributed access models also lead to low visibility in terms of uh, who has access and have the disadvantage of failing to provide information uh, to revoke the access when people don't need it anymore. So that's where DevOps policies is going to provide a solution against those uh, drawbacks. So the scenario that we are going to demo today is I have a resource group uh, for finance for a fake customer that has uh, different types of data sources. We have Azure SQL database servers and we have Azure Arc enabled SQL Server as well, SQL Server 2022. I would like Adele, who works for IT, to get access for her to monitor the performance of these SQL systems. I'm going to make Adele part of a group, uh, an Azure AD group, uh, called AD Group Performance Monitor. And then Megan is going to be policy author in Microsoft Purview, and she's going to grant access to this AD group for this particular and limited role, which lets Adele monitor the performance of these uh, SQL data sources. So demo will basically cover showing first that Adele that cannot connect, then creating the DevOps policy on the whole resource group, and then showing that Adele can now connect and execute the queries. So we're now in Microsoft Purview Studio, and the way to get to the DevOps policies is I click on the Data Policy app. I go to DevOps Policies, and I create a new policy. This is Megan, who is policy author at root collection level. She's going to select a resource group that I have already pre-registered and enabled for policies. And then she can select one of two roles, the SQL Performance Monitor or the SQL Security Auditor. We're going to select the first one. 
and we're going to add the subject. The subject here, the AAD Group Performance Monitor. I'm going to save, but I'm not going to yet publish the policy. We're going to try to log in right now as Adele. And so here, for this particular query that has the performance monitor and the security auditing commands and, you know, uh, commands also to access the user data. We're going to try to log in as Adele. Adele here cannot even connect. She doesn't have access at this point. We're going to go back, save this policy. Once we save the policy, we wait five minutes, up to five minutes for the policy to propagate to the data source. In this case is an Azure SQL database server. And uh, we're going to try to log in at, again with uh, user Adele. Adele can now connect and she is going to try to execute. And in fact, she's able to execute this command to see the virtual file stats. We are going to execute this command to look at the wait times. We're now going to execute a command that Adele should not have access to because we gave that group she belongs to a performance monitor type of access. This is for security auditor. And she basically gets that uh, she does not have the permissions. Now Adele is going to try to access user data. Because she is not DBA and because we have created these roles, keeping in mind the principle of least privilege, uh, we have limited Adele to the typical activities that uh, uh, she needs to perform as a performance monitor to monitor uh, database system health. So that will limit her and that doesn't give her access to the user data, which is in the first place what we're trying to protect to prevent all of that insider threat. Now, see, this is just one of the systems in the resource group. We're going to navigate to SQL Server 2022. We're going to remote desktop and we're going to try to connect as Adele. And that single policy is the one that is applying to all of these different data sources in the resource group. We're going to try to execute this query. She gets the same results. Uh, she's able to access the virtual file stats. She's able to access the wait time. She's not able to access the database encryption keys, which is a, a security auditor type of command which can be granted from, you know, Microsoft Purview, but we just didn't give this AD group that type of access. And Adele is not able to access the user tables. Okay. So just to recap, with a single policy from Microsoft Purview, I can now enable access for a, an AD group to a whole set of, you know, SQL type data sources. And I can monitor from a central uh, location, who has access to what. And I can greatly simplify and uh, reduce the effort related to granting access to IT operations personnel.